Hey guys, Serge here. Uh, just uh, doing a couple things here, checking the Swablu, seeing if it's shiny. The pony does not. I don't know if it can be shiny and go, but um, shiny pony does is cool, and I think probably a good amount of people think that. But um, it'd be nice to get that. What brings me out here mainly, though, is this Venipede at the St. Peter's by the Sea Church Fountain. And uh, last stream, or maybe a couple streams ago, I uh, kind of failed. I did a failed Venipede hunt. Um, it just ran away. So that was like the first of the new Unova mons that rolled out. And uh, it, it just ran away. So so not, not, not meant to be, I guess. But, you know, you got to got to be persistent and keep trying and uh, exercise what I would call one's playing memory. Uh, psychologists talk about working memory a lot and uh, I think there's good reason to uh, discuss the opposite of that. Not the exact opposite of that. Uh, the exact opposite of working memory would, I guess, be and if you don't know, working memory is just between short-term memory and long-term memory. Um, it's definitely more like short-term memory than long-term memory, though, so it's not, like, perfectly in the, in the middle, but uh, should have brought my ball plus out here, huh? But, um, yeah, so that's where I left off, uh, left off in my research today. And uh, I was just thinking about how I've had too many Professor Oaks in my life. I mean, like, when you go to college, you have, you have a lot of professors, and, uh, you know, in, uh, in Pokemon you only have, like, I mean, we've had a few professors over the years since Professor Oak, so I can't really say, but we've had a lot less than I had it in, in, uh, than I've had in college, so, so there's, so there's that. Got the fire types out, because it's sunny. Friends are texting. We're, uh, we're doing a San Diego trip, uh, planned for this weekend. Awkward thing is that my car is in the shop <sighs> with very low chances of uh, repair, so so that's that. That's unfortunate. I'm just walking up this little neighborhood hill here. Yeah, hopefully the vent- oh, and in fact, there's a Wobbuffet up ahead. Party hat. That's great. So, even further back in a couple streams, a couple streams ago, uh, do I have it? I think I got Excadrill, I did. Um, a couple streams ago, I uh, failed the Party Hat Wobbuffet. I named the video uh, Party Wobbuffel, like a party fell. So, that's that. I turn the volume down here a bit and uh, actually catch this drill where you know I gotta conserve my resources for pebble up day though so that's all it gets and start jogging a little bit into the uh, church I'm gonna run check it not shiny. Get the snivy. Hmm. Great ball? Nah. Go ultra ball. Still yellow. Nice day out. Kind of misty, foggy. Got the sun that way. It's peeking through the peeking through the uh, trees there. So we'll transfer this snivy. We'll keep running here. All right, we're now at the church. There's our Wobbuffet. 
I think we want to wobble it first because it's an event. I don't know when it ends. So, Stiglet, Venipede's over there. Hopefully, it's still there after we do our raid battle. It's a female, female Wobbuffet. So this is our redemption match for the party hat Wobbuffet. All right. Now it'd be nice if we could catch while waiting in the raid group, but that's all right. Give it two minutes and that looks okay. I don't think Wabafet will be that hard to beat, so. Just did a little jog up the hill. Uh, phone locked, so the recording uh, saved and I'll splice this one with the previous recording, so. Very easy to do on my new phone. Show you the scenery. This is uh, Rancho Palos Verdes. There's the cross up on the church and there's some church buildings. The sun again kind of peeking out, sunset now. Just about, you can see the time on the top left of my screen. So, I've gotten so far of the party hat mons, I didn't get Wurmple, because that's an egg. Uh, as far as I know, it's only an egg. and. Uh, uh, I got the party at Pikachu, I got two of them, and I, ha I found a lot of Pikachu candy, so it was easy to just evolve one up to party at Raichu. Uh, no Pichu, though, so so I'm, I'm lacking the egg party hat mons, but that's all right. Show you more of the scenery when I can't think of uh, exciting things to say. Let, let nature do the talking, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's a nice day today. It's, uh, haven't, um, I've been inside most of it, as I tend to be. Just, uh, my personality or temperament, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, five seconds, and, uh, I've never used these group codes before, but, uh, we got Meowth, Charmander, Pikachu. All right. Ha! It's a shiny hat. That's cool. Okay. I should have put the music on for this. I, I kind of like the gym music in this. Turn the volume down a bit. Because I know it's loud compared to my voice. Uh, at least on my old phone it was. So. Go for meteor mashes. This should, yeah, this is a piece of cake compared to some other raids you could do. I've talked before on a stream about how I failed the Alolan Raichu raid uh, at Terran Air Resort. That was maybe a year ago or so. And I just tried soloing it and I got to this very small sliver and I just couldn't finish it off. Like I tried five times and got that far so that was an unproductive half hour. I didn't even, uh, I don't know, I, don't, I didn't even stream that so that's probably for the best. Um, they say in science at least that you should, uh, you, should, you gotta publish your uh, negative results too. Um, knowledge is knowledge, you know. Including knowledge of what doesn't work or what we don't know as much about yet. So, for science. Alright, cool. So, Wobbuffet's going down. Um, I'm forcefully reminded of Sword and Shield max raids where they just shrink and uh, after the Dynamax and Gigantamax pawns uh, get beaten and they're not fainted yet. So, oh, we have a lot of uh, Premier Balls there. 14? That's good. That'll make it easy to catch, as long as it doesn't run away, so... Alright, right on the lips. So... I didn't know, uh... didn't know Pokemon had access to lipstick. Uh, it must have a trainer or something. So, okay, cool. We got the Party Hat female Wobbuffet there. Uh... Let's check its stats really quick, and then go for the Venipede. Uh, two stars, not too bad. I'll just start it in, anyway. Um, alright, cool. So, we got that raid done, and uh, we can go for the Venipede. Uh, there's a Trico there. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go up a little closer. I'm gonna see if the Venipede's still there, because that's what drew us out here in the first place. Yep, it's still on the radar, so. Got a Trico here. Gotta shop it. 
which I believe can be shiny on here, right? Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. I sent my YouTube channel to uh, four kids because apparently I'm, uh, I'm, I must comply with the law on that one. So, all right. There's pros and cons of bringing the ball plus out. It's just sometimes it's more trouble than it's worth to connect in the first place, and so. Let's see, where is this venipede here? We're a, we're a bug catching right now. So if we could find it, there we go. There's our venipede. Hopefully we catch it. I should probably just razz it this time. No, that's such a low CP, I can guess that. I think if we great ball it, no. Let's ultra ball that. That should catch. Green ring, I feel good about that. Boom, got it. So. I'm still playing Let's Go Pikachu a bit, because um, I got all three uh, starters in shiny form, evolved them all up, and so I'm just training them basically. They're all above level 50 now, so uh, they could battle and, uh, you know, like in Battle Tower and be at the right level for that. Um, they all have good natures. Uh, the Blastoise was a shiny Blastoise from Go Community Day, so that uh, ended up having a rash nature, which isn't bad. I mean, especially if you're going like Mega Blastoise, which you can do in Let's Go. Um, I am seriously considering, uh, like, just keeping those starters all in Let's Go because you can't Mega Evolve in Sword and Shield. I mean, they could always like add it as a feature, but. At this time, uh, we're not able to do that in Sword and Shield, so let's check out the Venipede. That's our... So this is a dual redemption day, so that's good. It's not loading, but let's see. One star. Oh well. So we got our Venipede. 25 to get to a... What is the Whirlipede, and then probably just 100 to get to Skullipede, so... I didn't even notice on the new, like go loading screen for the new year, which is pretty beautiful, but um, Skullipede's on there, um, Sawaddle's on there, we haven't had access to Sawaddle yet, I'm pretty sure. So, that's cool. Got some basketball going on up ahead, and uh, got my new baseball thermal on, um, a nice Christmas gift for my girlfriend's uh, parents, so it's great. You can see the sun here a little bit again. Yeah, I already did my uh, picture taking for the day, but maybe I'll do a little more. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.